the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm sorry, I, I told you to sit down. I didn't, I forgot that Father was going to try. You were quite right to stand up again, obviously. This situation of the church is difficult today. It, is, it, it has never been easy for Catholics. Not for. Our Lord means us to carry some cross. We need to earn our heaven. Think about the tribulations of Catholics today and realize that they are profitable. They can be very profitable. Without this crisis of the church, would I have relearned tradition? Or would I just simply have gone with the new religion? The Vatican II has been a great trial for Catholics. People. To begin with, very few Catholics understood what was happening. Uh, Archbishop Lefebvre was... Archbishop Vigano was not one of those Catholics at that time. But with the passage of years, Archbishop Vigano came to see that he had been fooled at Vatican II. With great humility, today he recognizes that he was deceived. He could not at that time believe that all his colleagues were betraying the church. And only when he was nuncio in the saw the corruption as fruits of Vatican II. And then he came clearly and strongly back to the true religion. If His example is outstanding. He was very high in the, offici in the, in the official church. He was number 11 in the Vatican at one point. Absolutely part of the system. But he had the honesty and the humility to recognize and admit that he had been deceived. A saying, or a proverb, a convert is worth two apostles. Archbishop Vigano is certainly now worth more than two apostles. He is a lighthouse of truth in the darkness. He is a great gift of God to his church in distress. Denouncing clearly and accurately the evil taking place in the world and in the church. Of course he is talking of politics, but only from a religious perspective. He has no interest in politics as politics. Politics as an instrument of the devil to send souls to hell, which concerns him. The, the devil scored a great victory with Vatican II. So he deceived many Catholics. And as Our Lady of Garabandal said, many cardinals, bishops and priests were on the road to perdition and they were taking many souls with them. You can imagine that the churchmen do not like Our Lady of Garabando. She was speaking just before Vatican II and during Vatican II. And her words were clear. But the world chose to, re to change the true religion for a modern Freemasonic substitute. The result is, as Archbishop Vigano says, that the politics have been completely taken over by the devil. How can anybody say that this is only politics? It is Satan acting, acting through his instruments to make every single soul fall into hell if he can. And since most Catholics have been deceived, then we are, the followers of tradition are now a remnant. Like in the time of the Reformation, the Catholics were a remnant while the Protestants took over at least a third of Europe. Now again, the Catholics are being abandoned by many preferring an easier religion. And therefore, the Catholics this time, the Catholics of tradition, are a much smaller remnant than they were against Protestantism. Therefore, the weight of the world against Catholics 
is much heavier this time than at the time of Protestantism. But am I going to be discouraged? Shall I say the future is too dark? I shall give up the faith. I will go the easy way. I will accept the new religion. Give up the old religion. No, I shan't. I shan't give up. You must put him into the trial. I shall admit that Almighty God has every right to put me to the trial. I am part of a mankind when mankind has not been good. I have my own part of the punishment. It is not God who is wrong. To nie man who is wrong. To człowiek, który błądzi. But man is persisting in his error. And amongst the heads of state, if there is only one who is standing up to the forces of evil. Don't count on Boris Johnson in England. Don't count on Macron in France. Don't count on Draghi in Italy. It's Vladimir Putin, who may be no angel and no saint, but nevertheless he is a man of intelligence and great courage. And at the Russia, he has the means of standing up to the one world government. A few days ago, I was very impressed. It was a group of Polish ladies, Catholics, who all understood that Vladimir Putin was right. I was very surprised Byłem zaskoczony. because I know between Poland and Russia there's often been war. Maybe it will come again. Być może no. The question is not my country right or wrong. Ale pytanie... My country can be wrong. Moje państwo... In England we abandoned the faith with the Reformation. It was my country. To było moje... But it was wrong. Ale ono... It is God. Sędziom jest Bóg. Not the wickedness of men. Ani... His religion doesn't need, does not need changing. His church does not need changing. His church must be preserved as he instituted it. Ten and the world politics I must conform to the will of God. My... God does not want a godless one world government. Therefore, my dear friends, my... love your country. Kochaj... Love this country of the faith. Poland of the faith. Pols Poland always faithful. Polskę zawsze wierną. But do not love Poland going along with the rest of corrupt Europe. Ale nie... And if necessary, see in those who are often your enemy, this time your true friends. The Russians are fighting in Ukraine, Rosja... but not in such a way as to smash or crush Ukraine. Ale nie w tak to the purpose of Vladimir Putin, he has said, is to denazify and demilitarize yes, the Ukraine. Nothing. But foolish Europe is following the United States za... attempt to crush Russia. Or may well become worse. Wojna. My dear friends, always judge from the standpoint of God. If, if your ancestors made this such a Catholic country, it's because they judged human events by God. And whatever happens, you understand from God's standpoint that he is offering us the means to, to put down earthly affairs and giving us the opportunity to value still more our Catholic faith. Yeah. The temptation will be, possibly, by Polish patriotism to go with Europe. But Europe today is very corrupt Ale... in the world and in the church. Zaru... Boris Johnson, Mac... Emmanuel Macron and Draghi do not deserve to be followed. Ludzie... They are blind to the interests of God. They want a godless world. They are all wanting, because their peoples wanted, to get rid of Almighty God. If you and I stand by Almighty God, if we stay with God, we are in line, in line for martyrdom. I don't say you and I will necessarily be martyrs, but with your faith, do understand that martyrdom is actually a great gift of God. He gives it to whom he will. Two great saints at the head of the Jesuits.
Saint Ignatius of Loyola, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and Saint Francis Xavier. Neither of them was as martyr, and therefore it's it's a mystery of God's gifts. But to die for the faith, to die for God, enables one to go straight to heaven. But you know this. Therefore, from the point of view of the world, martyrdom is a horrible death. But from the point of view of God, no. We must do what we can to prepare. It seems clear now that one of the next tricks of the, of the criminals ruling the world will be an artificially created famine. Prepare at home by pre buying now, while it still can be bought, things like rice and flour. But be prepared for there not to be enough food. They played the trick of Covid, they played the trick of uh, Ukraine provoking since 2014 Russia. Russia has needed to defend itself. The real aggressor attacker is not the apparent attacker. Russia was provoked for s several years from the Ukraine by the agents of the United States. Because the United States they were Christian, relatively Christian, not Catholic, but mostly Protestant. And, and the devil was able to deceive those Christians. And now the, re the real religion of many Americans is not religion, but their politics. Many of them, out of patriotism, wish to destroy Russia. Because Russia is the last obstacle to the one world order. Therefore, judge by your reason and by your faith. Our Lord says in chapter 7 of St. John, judge a just judgment. Don't judge by appearances, judge by the reality, especially the reality as you perceive it by your faith. And that will be the greatness, the real greatness of your country. We are promised a heavy punishment, but after the punishment will come a great triumph of the church. We are told that England, China and Russia will all convert. It will be a glorious, the most glorious triumph in all the history of the church. And after that comes the Antichrist. So events in the world flow backwards and forwards like the, like the sea, the tide of the sea. In today's Mass we read, there is not the shadow of a change in Almighty God. He is a friend of those who, are, who love him and believe in him. Through his mother, he will protect those who put their trust in her. Yep. The, fright, the, the apparently frightening events coming in the world are not so frightening in the eyes of God. Of his justice. God is merciful, certainly, but he is also just. It is he who does not want us to fall into hell. More than we want, more than we don't want it ourselves. Frightening events in the world to shake us out of our worldly comfort and put us back on the track for heaven. Have a strong faith in God. Put your trust in his mother, <coughs> Queen of Poland. And may God be with you, my dear friend. Yep. And may God protect you. Yep. And may he, through his mother, bring all of you safely to heaven. Yep. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.